This portion of Dream Car Garage is brought to you by Oddball Customs. Oddball Customs, the way we see it. Welcome back to the Oddball Custom segment. We're here at Spinorama in Toronto. As much as I should be at the shop working at the on the car right now, I had to come down to the show. Uh, you can see at this stage, though, it's the first time the car's on the ground. We get a really good look at how it's going to sit. You can see the monster engine above the cross member. It's in your face. Got a lot of sight line problems, but it's okay. The, uh, the supercharger's in it. The block's out being painted. So the plan is now to take this cross member out of the back here, put some support across there, put a chrome roll cage through it, and go with like a purple or maybe a red plexiglass and do it all old school, 60s, you know. But that's a dream. It depends on how much time we got. I gotta go back to the shop. The roll cage was obviously a hindsight, but I wanted it in. But now the biggest problem I had is the gas tanks took up all that space in there, so I had to make a bracket that sort of cantilevered off the frame to support the roll bar as the roll bar went up. Basically, it's tucked as tight as possible to the B-pillar so I could bolt the B-pillar into the roll cage to add some strength. When I needed, when I determined that I was going to do the plexiglass roof, I had to make a jig that represented this roof because then I, when I was going to take it to the oven, I needed something to form it too. Um, so on the roller, I, I just rolled some one inch square tubing, got it contoured, the roof matched up to the second one. That also helped me align the roof panels. A couple things I didn't know or I was, I was made very quickly aware of is that plexiglass expands a lot. For every degree of above room temperature, it expands to thou. So that meant over 48 inches across, it expanded almost a half an inch. So what I had to do when I got over to our body shop where we have a powder coating oven, was stick in the oven, bring it up to a certain temperature, let it cool off, and see how much of a bubble I had off the flat bars that already pre-welded into, the, into the, the jig. So if it wasn't enough, then I heated it up to two, first I think it was 270, then 280, then 290, then 300, and I just waited for it to cool back down to look at the crown that was in the roof. And uh, that was it. I think at 300 I may have made one that was too big. It doesn't quite look like a Pope mobile, but it's pretty good. <laughs> 